Hey guys, it's Jen here. Today, I'd like to highlight for you some excellent dining options in the city of Dubrovnik, Croatia. Dubrovnik is probably Croatia's most famous destination. Who am I kidding? It is the most famous. And due to Game of Thrones being filmed here, most folks have actually seen a lot of the beauty of Dubrovnik without even knowing it. Because of its location and popularity, Dubrovnik has some amazing restaurants, and we wanted to showcase a few of those for you. Amazing food, excellent service, and stunning views await you when you head out to eat in Dubrovnik. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that like button down there. Now, let's go eat. Tonight, we are going to what we consider to be the best restaurant in Croatia. We were here a few years ago. We absolutely loved it. So we wanted to show you what the big deal was about. So the restaurant's right here next to this amazing, amazing view. Let's quick look at the view before we do anything. If you've seen Game of Thrones, you've seen this view. All right, so we're gonna go check in and we'll get back to you once we get to our table. So here is the view from our table. Check it out, you guys. I mean, come on. So we're starting well, with generally, compliments. Generally, I'm not a fan of cold soups. But this is gazpacho, so Spanish cold soup. Let's try it. Hmm. It's good. Lots of different flavors. I think there's also a cucumber, which I'm not a fan of. You can slightly taste it. I may be wrong, too. But it's tasty. It has lots of different flavors. It reminds me of when you watch that cartoon, Ratatouille. Ratatouille. It's like that, it's bursting with flavors. So it's good. What are your thoughts on the bisque, Milos? Mm, it's so good. I, I'm not just saying it because we're here and, you know, we're expected to say it's good. It's amazing. Full of flavors. I, I don't I can't even pick what it is. It's just it's awesome. It's amazing. One more. It's some cauliflower and the truffle. Thank you. I'm going to put a little bit of the truffle flakes. The combination of the delicate flavor of the cauliflower puree blended with the scallop and the truffle is so good. It's such a great combination. I second that. We were just saying it's really hard to go wrong with scallops and truffles. Served with the potato and then Malasia sauce, which is a white wine, some caramelized carrot, and the green beans and the mint juice. Perfect. Lobster tail comes over the homemade pasta, sun dried tomato, and the green beet sauce. Super, thank you. Freaking excellent. And tons of flavor. Homemade pasta. So good. Mm. And the olive oil. So. And you guys, my veal, it's delicious, it's tender. The Malvasia sauce is fantastic. I love the slight hint of truffle essence on the scalloped potatoes. It's, it's really good. So I got a little dessert, which was the raspberry queen, which was raspberry with white chocolate mousse. Milos wanted, well, he would have liked something chocolatey. What I wanted also had coffee and caramel in it, and I don't like either. So I didn't want anything, but 
Jen ordered something. She got hers and then they brought me as a surprise since I had said I like chocolate. They brought him little chocolates. A really nice gesture. Again, yeah. second time here and I was just telling Jen, it, it's actually above my expectations. Especially since we had a, such a good visit the first it's time, it's even better this time. Best restaurants we've ever been to. Uh, I, I don't want to say the best because I'm, you know, I'm always happy to explore new things, but you cannot go wrong if you come here. It's just, it's freaking unbelievable. It's, everything is perfect. Not only is the food amazing, the service is top, top, top of the line. And they surprise you. And yeah, they give you like little, they little you. special treats here and there and on top of all of that the view is out of a fairy tale literally out of a fantasy novel <laughs> adapted for <laughs> the small screen one way or the other you guys if you want this view if you want to have this one of these seats along the edge of the terrace make a reservation ask for the outside terrace ask for that front front row on the terrace you definitely need the reservation So this evening we're having dinner at Proto, which is right around the corner from where we're staying. Super convenient. And we're up on the rooftop terrace. It's really lovely, really elegant. And we literally have the corner table. I can tell you already looking at the menu, it's gonna be a really tough choice because there's a lot of good stuff. I really like the menu. Cheers! She really. She really. Right off the bat, you guys, the atmosphere here is really, really nice. I love the decor. It's in the middle of Old Town. Right in the middle of the Old Town, up on the terrace. So you don't have the sea view because it's literally in the middle of Old Town. But I feel but it's like it's, it's not needed. No. I think they've got another thing going here and it's, it's working. Gorgeous. We started with the uh, prosciutto plate and they added some cheese for us upon our request. And then I got the cold plate brotto, which is lobster, shrimp, and truffle slices. Quite honestly, this uh, cold plate brotto for the cold starter is, I think, one of the best I've ever had. It's delicious, the blend of the truffle with the lobster and the scampi it's it's such a wonderful combination it's just perfectly chilled really nice choice for a summer day oh it's so good mm. Mm. you should try that mm. and then also with, with the prosciutto mm. <laughs> that is good i would like to have another i would bite. come back just for this just for this cold appetizer so hopefully that really says how much I really like this. I think that this is literally one of the best appetizers I've ever had in my life. Wow. I don't know if the camera's picking them up, picking it up, but there are like dive bomb swallows like shooting behind us through this street. I don't know if you see, occasionally see like a blur on the camera behind us, but they're super fast swallows. Do you want more prosciutto? Mm -hmm. And now that I've finished it, look at the plate. It's all these little fish. Very nice. Mm. So this was a, an amazing... First course. First appetizer, actually. Yeah. My Dalmatian prosciutto with pot cheese and squeaky cheese. Well, I'm not done yet because I have more lobster, but mm, it was amazing. And we're both drinking Croatian sorts of wine. This is Dingaj, so mid-Dalmatia. This is Plavats. Plavats Mali. Mm, all top notch wines. Fantastic. Holy crap, everything's so good. Mm, whole... Cream of crab soup. Yeah, mm. it smells exactly like scampi or. Ooh. Yeah, crab soup. Oh, really good. You're gonna love it. Yeah. This is very similar to Nautica um, or Ursinski. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
I'm, I'm tired of saying amazing. Just, I don't even know which word. Amazing to times Was infinity. <laughs> Camilla's got the lobster, lobster tail with white wine sauce, capers, and pasta. Yeah. I got the gamberi rossi, which is actually scampi, right? Or is, it was scampi. Yeah, Looks he said like it's scampi, scampi but... No. It's like a mixture. No, it is scampi. It's it scampi, scampi, not shrimp. It's a big scampi. So langoustines uh, with a sweet wine sauce. And I'm ravioli. sorry, but I'll try it. Milos can't wait. Well, while they don't have an open kitchen, from here, uh, over on the other side of the terrace, I can see a large television screen which shows kind of a sneak peek into the kitchen and lets you see how things are prepared. No, it shows you the process of how they make it. Now, we decided not to do desserts. We're very full, but I wanted something a little sweet, so I got a strawberry mojito. And, and I really got enjoyed another my glass wine. Of wine. Cheers. Cheers, Jivali. Jivali. You know we love Nautica and we showed that to you guys already, but this is going on to our list of top recommendations in Dubrovnik. It is absolutely delicious, great atmosphere, great service, and the food was amazing. One thing I would say, you guys, is it was definitely beneficial to have reservations here. It's a beautiful open terrace. It's in the center of the city. It's a Michelin recommended restaurant. Yes to the reservations. And honestly, we got the best seat in the house. So we did. We did. <laughs> We're at the corner. Like, look, I'm looking down at the street. Looking down at the street. We have the best seat in the house. So it really helped to make those reservations. So now some people might ask, why the heck are you eating Mexican food in Dubrovnik? May I remind you folks that we may be tourists in Dubrovnik, but we are not tourists in Croatia, living here for several months every year. I am so glad to find a place where there is some Mexican food. Love, love, love Croatian food. Don't get us wrong. But Mexican food is great too. It's hard to find good Mexican food, so that's why we're here. How do you like your guac, Milos? Very good. Freshly made. It's good. I was afraid. But it's very good. Mm. Wow. We both got chicken tacos that actually look pretty good. It's three hard shell tacos on the plate. The tacos are great. They're really uh, fresh ingredients. It just has a nice, light, not heavy quality to it. The chicken is nicely cooked. Really good blend of flavors. Thumbs up. Very tasty. So the view from up here is really fantastic, I have to say. Different view. Different view, city three view. Three different restaurants and three different views. Cheers. Cheers. I love this one. Love. Not much research on the building, but apparently this is a 1400s um, palace, so it dates back to 1470. When we came to like one of the rooms coming up in the in the building, it had a very regal kind of flair to it. So yeah. it totally makes sense that it was a palace. going to be having a fried shrimp tails with a seasonal salad. Goat cheese. Nice. Goat cheese. This is um, what goes on my head like that. Basil. Mm. Mm. About the shrimp? Mm -hmm. It's actually Adriatic shrimp. Yeah. The shrimp is really nice, a nice flaky, light, crispy batter, and the garlic aioli is really nice flavor. It has um, a little zing to it. Salad's fresh, of course. Has the uh, prosciutto. Great. 
we both got the same entree. It is a pasta with lobster tail and truffles. I'll give you my basil. And the sauce is a leek and olive oil. All right, Milosh. Uh, Let us so know hot. how it is. Yeah, Too hot? Thumbs up. I have to have a few bites. It's a nice combination of flavors. The, the leek sauce is really mild, so it allows the truffle and lobster flavors to come out. Thanks so much for joining us as we ate our way around Dubrovnik. One thing's for sure, we can't wait to go back. You guys, please don't forget though to like and subscribe to our channel for lots more great videos. We'll take you as many places as we can around the world and especially here in Croatia.